Hello, I'm Wendy and I'm studying at Lincoln University in New Zealand. I do a project on uh, endophytes uh, on Californian thistle and how they interact with the biocontrol. And I also look at uh, ways we can introduce the biocontrol into the field. It's supposed to be a classical biocontrol, which is uh, introduced only once. Uh, so the fungus we want to use is uh, Vaccinia punctiformis and today I'm going to look if we could apply it together with uh, fertilizers because that would be really convenient for farmers if they could just chuck it on together with a fertilizer. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is uh, make some fertilizer solutions, uh, add some spores to it and spray it onto some pot plants. So these are the spores. Uh, what I did is sucking them up at a very miniature uh, vacuum cleaner, which is called Cyclone Spore Collector, and uh, sucked them up in these little vials. So there is like millions of spores in each uh, vial. So this little uh, pot with spores will uh, last me through my whole research. So I'm in the glass house now. So behind me, you see the first repeat of this fertilizer trial. It's in the middle of winter here, so uh, I let them uh, hang up a light for me. And uh, so the plants think it's in the middle of summer. So that's good. So they pr uh, produce a lot of spores, which is absolutely great. So all my plants are sprayed and I placed them in humidity bags. And now we just hope that the trial will go well. So they stay in these bags for one day. Uh, so tomorrow I will come back, take the bags off, and meanwhile, uh, now, today, I will count some uh, spores to know exactly how much was in my spore solutions, and I will also do a germination test. So I count the spores with something called a hemocytometer, so it has a grid on the slide, uh, so you can easily count all your cells. Another thing I'm going to do is uh, doing spore germination. So I made uh, two slides, uh, each with 100 microliters of spore solution. So here it's on a slide and here it's straight onto an agar plate. So it's two methods of germination and tomorrow we'll look how many spores germinated.